What's going on everyone? This is 8-Bit Bourbon and Gaming and today we're going to go through a series of fighting games from the fighting genre. We're going to play a lot of these awesome gems from the past and we're going to play some horrible, horrible fighting games from the early 80s and 90s and 2000s era. There's going to be some great games in this era and there's going to be some horrible games in this era. Let's start out with the classic Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition. Now, of course, this is everyone's favorite fighting game, probably. If you're a fan of this series, please give us a follow. This is one of our favorite series as well. We're going to try to get a, some wins here with our favorite character, Ryu. And we're going to try to keep E Honda at bay with a series of Hadoukens. We're going to throw as many as we can to utilize a uh, distance we really want to keep him at bay keep him on a defensive because you never want e honda close to you because his hundred hand slap is very overpowered so we do that by throwing hadoukens at varying speeds you can do that by using light punch medium punch or heavy punch and it will vary the speed of your hadouken as you can see we got his energy pretty much drained down and we get the easy win this is one of those classic fighting games from our childhood that everyone loves again we're just going to try to keep our distance from E Honda not let him get his hands on us because he will destroy you with his hundred hand slap utilizing some kicks now I thought he was going to be uh, stunned there and we get the easy victory. Please give us a follow if you like Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition. Now we're going to be moving on to King of Fighters Special Edition 2004. This was on the SNK Neo Geo system. This is another one of those classic fighting games from that era. Uh, really great game. And it's starting to rival Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition, in my opinion. There's so many characters, there's so many special moves, there's so many fun things you can do in this game. Uh, we are still new to this series because we did not have a Neo Geo growing up because they were far too expensive. Almost $700 for the system and almost every game was $199 per cartridge which was absolutely ridiculous at the time. But this series does have a ton of special moves for every fighter. We're still learning and we're getting bested right now. But we do like Billy because of his reach with his bow staff here. And you get to pick three different characters which is great offers a lot of variety and uh, replay value to the game so you can see we just got defeated here but we have two more fighters in standby so basically we're trying to learn every character's special moves their strengths and weaknesses we do not have as many hours on this game as we do the street fighter series obviously so we're just trying to utilize some of our knowledge of other retro games from the past and seeing if it translates to this game as well. I really like these character designs, the special move designs, so much going on with each character. Ton of variety, ton of things you can like about a game. Lots of special moves, lots of combos. Just a really awesome series from the Neo Geo SNK world. Let's see if we can pull off a victory here. And guys, I will remind you, we are not professional gamers. We are just fans of all these retro games from our childhood. We like to play these, unwind from our day, 
and just reminisce on some of those old memories of these classic games and try to find new hidden gems. Along with the hidden gems, you will find a lot of bad games. We've been scrolling through the fighting game genre and finding a, a lot of horrible games, to be honest with you. There are some fun classics, and there's a lot of garbage. And we get a combo for the finish there. This is an amazing game. I highly suggest you try it out.